They're completely psychotic. They look like zombies. Yes, somebody's gonna shoot at me. Nobody's gonna shoot you. They're um, hearing voices and seeing things that aren't there. Naked and out of their minds. Doesn't look like he has clothes on at this time. You've seen the bizarre behavior. People ripping their clothes off, leading police on chases, breaking into homes, acting paranoid. Dude is naked. No, they're not mentally ill. They're high on cheap synthetic drugs like Flaca, Spice, and K2. You get so psychotic, you don't know what's going on, and your brain just goes trippy. As the executive director of Action Drug Rehab Center in Santa Clarita, Carrie Quashen has seen it all. I actually had somebody that came in one time that um, actually had cut off his tongue because the thoughts in his brain said, cut off your tongue, you're talking too much. Why do people continue to do it? Because everybody believes that it's not going to happen to them, that they can get high and they're different than everything else, and they, or they just know how to use better than everyone else. That's what 23-year-old Brian Harrison thought. I heard from friends that it was similar to weed, and so that's when I ended up trying it. But it was nothing like weed. Brian says the synthetic drug he used terrified him. I started to have visual distortions, I had audio distortions, uh, I lost sense of where I was, even in my own body. Like, I had no idea who I was at the point. So you lost all control of your body. What is your mind going through? What are you thinking? At that point, I'm scared because I don't know what's going on. This is my first time trying this. Synthetic drugs are cheap, as low as $5 a bag. They can be smoked, snorted, or eaten. But unlike marijuana, these man-made drugs cause hallucinations and make the user think they're being chased. It also raises the body temperature, which explains why we've seen so many people running around naked. My whole body felt hot. Um, I started profusely sweating. And like I said, I was just lost in my own body. Folks with high doses of Flaca, uh, can get temperatures over 107 degrees, which often will lead to their death. Dr. Matt Hendrickson of Northridge Hospital says the dangers of synthetic drugs are far worse than most people think. One dose could be enough to not only cause heat stroke, hyperthermia, uh, cardiac arrest, but schizophrenia, uh, psychiatric uh, uh, delusions that uh, uh, can be difficult to reverse. Yet, the usage of chemically enhanced drugs keeps growing. They're sold at convenience stores, head shops, and on the internet. They're not illegal because they're sold as incense and labeled not for human consumption. The chemicals change all the time so that people can stay away from the law. Because if, if, they, if the government makes this drug illegal, then the people making these drugs change the chemical. You have no clue What's gonna, how it's going to interact with your brain. What's even more alarming, the number of drug overdoses in the U.S. Every hour, we're losing nine people to an accidental overdose. We need to start screaming. We need to start really paying attention to this. As for Brian, he has been clean for four months now. He swears he'll never use synthetic drugs again. It was nothing that I would want to experience again, ever. What is the message to our viewers who may be experimenting with these drugs? I think the best message that I can give to anyone is don't experiment. How does somebody become addicted to drugs? By experimenting. How does somebody become psychotic and insane? By using these synthetic drugs. Gina Silva, Fox 11 News.